Hello everybody, welcome to Busy Minds Tutorials and Reviews. Today we want to learn how to create an Android application in Sketchware. So as you can see on my screen, I already have Sketchware installed. If you don't have it on your phone, you can go to Google Play Store and install it. It's free. So let's start. So click on, on Sketchware if you already have it installed. Click on it on your screen. Sketchware is opening now. So you have to wait for it to open. Okay, now when it opens, this is what you'll see. So if you want to create a new application, this is where you go to. You come down to your right corner here. You see this plus sign. Click on this plus sign. It's asking you to give the name of your application. Give it a name. It's a new application. You have to give it a name. So let's just give it a, a name of first app. See, you now click on create app. So it has created a new application for you. This is how it looks like. So the first thing you want to do, this is the blank. This is the home page of your application. It's a blank screen. So the first thing you want to do is um, you want to start adding some content. And if you look here on your left, this is where you can you can add the layout and the screw and all that. Then, so let's just have say you want to have a bar. You just want to have a vertical bar at the top there. So you 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 come up at the right upper corner here where we have this linear and the um, linear and all that and vertical linear and all that so let's just go for horizontal have something like this you can see we have some and the moment you add anything to the screen stuff like this will appear at the bottom of the application things like this, this way you can begin to change this thing you've had it on the screen this way if you want to change the weight this way you change the weight Let's leave, let's leave there. If you want to change the height of this bar, this way you change it. So let's click on, on, on height here to change the height of this. You can see if you want the height, the height of that, um, this bar we put on the screen to take up the old screen of the application, you have to change it from this wrap content. You change it to match parents. The moment you select it there, you now click and, and press on, click on this and select. You can see. That's taking over everywhere. Well, you might not notice it because let's change the color. So you want to change the color of that bar that we brought in. You know, we've already changed the bar too. So let's change the color so that you can begin to see it clearly. So if you want to change the color of that bar, you come down here, you see background color. Let's change it to, let's say, orange. You can see it has changed. You can see it has changed to orange so let's take it back to the size the the, the original size so let's go back to this height click on the height then let's let's say wrap content take it back now you can see it, it has gone back to its original uh, original stage so let's add something inside let's say let's add um, a logo or test let's add test if you want to add test you come down to your left corner here you see where you have test view, edit test, button, image view. So you have to drag, you press, you press it down and drag it to the page. So you press down test view, then you drag it inside. If you, because you want to have the test inside, you drag it inside that bar, the orange bar. You can see here. So if you want it to occupy inside you don't want it to be at the corner here you want to occupy you, you click on it on the test view then you come down here and see the width you want to change the weight you want to say match parents you want it to occupy everywhere so you now say select you can see it does occupy everywhere so let's add something let's just add if you want to write adding your test you can just come down here you can see test here if you want to change the size of the test this is where you touch if you want to change the test style which means you want the test to be big to be bold you want the test to be uh, uh you know italic and all that so so let's just write in something so you click on this test you can see the test view you clean it out you clear it and then let's just say um busy mind let's just type in busy mind you can see see it there so if you want this busy mind to be at the center of the screen this is where you go to 
you come to this um, gravity when you come to the gravity you click on it you say center horizontally center vertically you can see it has come to the middle of the screen if you want it to be bold the busy mind to be bold you come to this test size let's just change the size first let's say let's put it on 20 you can see it's bold it, it you can see it, it the, the size of the screen has increased now so let's change the style let's make it bold this is where we have the test style bold you can see it's bold now let's change the color of the test test color let's change it to let's say um brown you can see it's brown now so you can see so you can begin to add the same way you can begin to add let's add another one let's add another vertical bar I mean horizontal bar let's add more or uh, horizontal bar so that we can begin to use it to create a layout you can see I'm adding more I'm adding more you can see then when you add things like this you the next thing whatever you want to place inside you can place if you want to and um, place a button where somebody can click and you can take them to another page you will not come to button here you can see it's button if you want to put it inside here you put it you can see this is button if you want it to go to the to the middle you 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 come here like we did gravity center horizontally center vertically mm. okay we have to center horizontally center vertically you can see it has gone to the middle this is for this button okay that's for that so whatever you want to add you want to add image you can bring this one here put it there this is image so if you want to add image to this page for example let's add a, a busy mind logo you click on this image then you come down here you can see from here you will see image click on image you can see whatever image you want to add to the application it's supposed to be here but because you've not and bring in the image to the application you will not see the image so let's go and bring in the image from our phone from the storage of our phone into this application you must first import it into the application before you can use it in the application so let's cancel this let's go to so if you want to bring an import image into this application you first go come to this um three at the right top corner here where you have these three dots like a menu icon you click on it you have this pop-up you come to image click on image then to bring it to somewhere like this so you use this plus sign at the bottom here this plus sign at the bottom right corner here you click on it it will bring it to this place so let's give the image a name let's just say first um image okay it doesn't want us to have space okay first image you won't add to my collection so you want to click this so that it will save in your collection oh sorry let's go back let's give it a name first name first uh, image mm, let's click on this then to add the image now click on this image box where you have this camera icon and add image test click on the box like this the moment you click on the box you'll see this this will pop up then click on um uh, and gallery yes you click on gallery it will not take you to your phone you can see this is my um as the this is my phone storage now let's say i want to add um this busy mind logo here okay so i've chosen this one now you can see it does appear here so you only see, the only thing you just need to do now is just say save so i've imported this image from my phone storage to the application now i can use it so let's go back if you want to go back you use this arrow this backward arrow at the um, left top corner so it will bring you back to this place so now let's click on the image icon here so the moment you click on the image icon you this thing will come up then you click on image you can see now you can see the image here so you click on the image you want to use you now say select you can see my image has appeared my image has appeared you can see so if you want to change 
the color of this the background of this button like i said you just go to background background if you want to change the color of this you just need to background color let's say black you can see it has changed to black so that's how you basically create an application so after creating this application if you want to install it on your phone if you want to you have to you know to, you have to create the android application which is the apk you have to create it so that you can be able to install it anybody using android phone can be able to install it on your phone so let's now create this application to to do that you come to this place where we have run you click on run so this page will appear now you're seeing it's building your application for you now so it's building the application so let's pause this video so we can come back when it's finished you know okay you can you can see here now the thing has finished um, building the APK and the moment it's finished building the APK which is the Android file that you can send to anybody for them to install on your phone the moment it's finished building it's finished putting the, the putting them together this is what you see on your screen it will not ask you do you want to install this application you say install so is the the application is being installed in your device now so it has finished installing so you're gonna say done okay let's go to our phone now to look for the application you can see okay look at it here because i i, I called it first app let's open it so this is our application now as simple as that so thank you for watching Just subscribe to this channel so you can begin to get more you know the next up uh, the next um, um video will be on how we can you know create more pages how we can link our pages so please subscribe to this channel thank you